You may be able to hear a lot of birds tweeting outside during this video, but uh, hey ho. Okay, so we've been given a circle and we have to prove that ABE, ABE, that's that triangle there, and triangle DCE, that's this one, are similar. Okay, so these two triangles. Right, I don't like those fingerprints. I don't know if you can see them or not, but anyway. Okay, so we have to prove they're similar, which means we need to know the conditions for similarity. I've done a video on this, so watch the video and learn them. There are three of them, okay? They are side, 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 angle, side, and angle, 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 okay? That means two triangles are similar if their three sides are in proportion, that's SSS, side, 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 or two sides and the angle between them, so two sides are in proportion and the angle between them is the same, or if the three angles in the two triangles are the same. Okay, good. What else do we need to know for this question? Well, it's a circle with a load of lines flying around inside it. Clearly, it's going to involve circle theorems at some point, right? So you've got to know these circle theorems. Again, I've done a video on them. Watch the video and learn them. The five circle theorems are, quickly, revision, Star Trek, okay? That angle is twice, that, ang that angle is half that angle. Bow tie, those two angles are the same, those two angles are the same. Cyclic quad quadrilateral. These two angles add up to 180. These two angles add up to 180. Okay. Semicircle, center of the circle, diameter. Those two lines, that's always 90. And alternate segment theorem, there's a tangent, that point there. Draw a triangle like so. That angle is equal to that angle and that angle equals that angle. Okay. So, I recommend that you just have a brain dump on the side of the page, write down everything that's relevant, okay? Nothing wrong with that, it's gonna help you. Okay, so, what's gonna be useful here? Well, okay, we've gotta prove that these two are similar. Hmm. Well, let's look at the circle theorems, okay? Which ones do you think are going to be useful? There's no tangent here, okay? So probably not the alternate segment theorem. There's no, we don't know where the center of the circle is. There's no diameter, so probably not the semicircle, okay? Do we have a Star Trek kind of a shape here? No, we don't because that is, I didn't draw it brilliantly, okay? That's meant to be the center of the circle. So we don't know where the center of the circle is. So we can probably discount those three. Ah, but look at this. There's definitely some bow ties here. I can see two bow ties, right? This one and that one, okay? So let's keep an eye on the bow tie theorem and also cyclic quadrilateral. We definitely have a cyclic quadrilateral there. Okay, so let's start with the bow tie. Okay, so we, with these two triangles we're interested in, so let's do that relevant bow tie, right? So straight away we can say that that angle equals that angle, right? And that angle equals that angle. Well, that's a pretty good start, isn't it? We've already got two of the three angles. We're two thirds of the way to AAA. And actually, if you watch my video on conditions for similarity, we've pretty much done it already, okay? Because if these two angles Whatever these two angles add up to, okay? Take that away from 180 and you get that angle. If these two angles are the same, add them up, take that away from 180, and that angle is also going to be the same, okay? So we've done it. Like I mentioned in my conditions of similarity video, once you've got two angles, 
you've already got the third, okay? So in a sense, that's only the AA condition, okay? But we can prove that these two angles are the same anyway, because it's just X angles, right? You've got two straight lines and you're told that they're straight lines in the question. Two straight lines crossing, opposite angles are the same, right? X angles. So we can say that that angle is definitely the same as that angle. And we've done it, A, 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 boom. These two triangles are similar. Okay, there we go. Three angles, there, 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 same as that, 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 okay? So, what do you take home from this question? You've got to know your circle theorems and you've got to know your conditions for similarity, okay? Sit down, watch the videos that I've made on, on these and learn them. Simple as that, okay? Yes, it's learning by rote, but there's only five circle theorems. Well, there's more, but there's only five main ones, okay? There's only three conditions for similarity. Just learn them, okay? And it makes questions like this that might seem pretty difficult when you first look at them, it makes them easy, okay? So watch the videos and learn circle theorems and conditions for similarity. And also watch my video on conditions of congruency, which is related to similarity. There you go. Do your homework and difficult questions become easy. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and it would be a massive help if you could subscribe. It would also be amazing if you could support me on Patreon. All the papers and everything are on my website, drgem.com, and I'm also on social media. Thank you.